RPG Dad here, and this is a follow-up to our 4096 error code message on Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, you know, I get all kinds of responses down below, plus people trolling, trying to get numbers for their own videos. Got the guy sending the thing saying, now if you erase all your data from the system and go back in, that, that'll take care of it. Well, it does not work. None of these things work. Let's go ahead and let's go through this thing that the dude thinks uh, is going to do it. And we're going to explain why it might work once in a while, but why it's not a fix. So let's go ahead, exit out of the game. Alright, now, this is his so-called fix. We're going to go over to Settings. Save Data Management. Delete. There's Ghosts. Select that. Delete it. Now, according to them, this will take care of your problems. But, let's see if it's going to work. And we already know the answer, that it's probably not going to work, but let's see. And we'll explain what actually works when it comes to this. And it's not what people think. Now, the data that we just erased was this. Your settings. The room's real bright, so I've got to set it so it's barely visible on my screen. Let's see. So now we're set. We'll go to multiplayer. We'll continue because the thing thinks that it's first time in because we erased that data off our system. Now it'll take a little longer because we do have to actually download that 13 megabytes again. So here we go, connecting online profile, fetching profile. Here we are waiting. Even if it does work, it'll probably take a little longer, but again, uh, it's highly unlikely it will work. At this point, we're now going to assume we're going to get a 4096 error. Because it's taken entirely too long. Now let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, they're saying, oh, do this, do that. In this case, erase your game data, and it fixes it. It's not a fix. There's our 4096 error. So the, the person saying, go to my thing, I, I have how to fix it. They're full of shit. This is what it comes down to. This is an error that you, the only way you're going to get in is repeatedly try closing it out, doing whatever, mul multiple times trying to get in. And it's anecdotal evidence. Um, scientific method will let you know that anecdotal evidence is evidence of nothing. The fact that it works for one person, it, it is a true fix. It'll work for everyone. As you just saw, this is not a true fix because it doesn't work every time for everyone. It's not repeatable. It's not testable to the point where you can test it and the same thing happens. It fixes your error code. So no, deleting your data does not fix this code. It's a problem with the software. It's a problem that they have to patch and hopefully it'll come out in the next patch soon and they'll correct it. What it really is, it's a numbers game. You have to back out, go in, turn your system off, turn it back on, do a whole bunch of stuff and eventually it doesn't even matter what you do. It's just a matter of doing it over and over again. It's a numbers game. It's almost like sales. It's a numbers game. You throw enough shit against the wall, it's eventually going to stick, and that's what it is here. You have to keep going out, coming back in, close it up, close out the game, come back in, close out the game, come back in. Eventually, you can get in. But no, there are no easy fixes. All these things of sync your trophies, um, delete your data, do this, do that, reboot your modem, none of them are fixes. The only fix that's going to happen is when Infinity Ward and Activision actually fix the software. So stop buying into the bullshit that people put on these things where they're trolling for more views for their own videos. They are full of shit. There is no fix. Infinity Ward is the only one that can fix this. RPG Dad signing off. See you next time.